What's good, YouTube? Because of Kobe here. So, you guys wanted some more to mention a bunch of you were asking for Dark Side. So, that's the next one we're going to do. This might be the only video of the night. This performance is 13 minutes long. So, I'm not sure how long this video is going to be, breaking down all the lyrics and everything. Tim is a very bold artist. He says how he feels, and he often says it in a very comical way. This one, I believe, is probably going to be more serious with a ton of like dark side we might see a different side of him with this one there's plenty of time in this song for him to go dark side so we will see what we get with this i'm very excited to dive into some more tim for you guys he's become one of the most interesting artists to me that we have on the channel i just appreciate how he can touch on so many different topics and vibes that he has right and he's very very smart in the way that he approaches those topics so if you guys are new here go ahead and hit that subscribe for me we talk about mental health addiction world issues everything in between break down all the lyrics instrumentation stage performance lighting i like going the whole nine yards on busting down the lyrics and implementing the meanings of them into our own lives and the things that we go through as somebody who's in recovery from drug addiction and alcoholism it really means the world to me to be able to get on here and share a little bit of my own experience and hope that it can inspire some of you guys that might be struggling with those things to go get yourself some professional help and get better like I did. It's a long journey and it's not going to be easy for you. It's always difficult when you're pulling yourself out of something like that. Sometimes things fall apart a little bit before they get better and that's just something you have to go through. You have to bear the weight of it and if you really hang in there, you can find yourself on the other side of that and it's a very very beautiful thing whenever you can then inspire other people and motivate other people to do the same thing for themselves and that's what it's all about on here when we get on here and talk about these songs i hope i can inspire some of you guys to go get yourself help as well it means the world to me when i see people actually reaching out and doing that for themselves because i know exactly how it feels to be stuck in those places and it's a blessing to be on the other side of them and have an opportunity opportunity to spread the message to other people that they can get through it as well thank you guys so much for your support in my recovery it means the world to me we're gonna get into some tim for you i love you guys i'm vakasa kabi a reaction video a day keeps the doctor away fuck those apples we got tim mention dark side <laughs> mm. I worry Nice blue lighting That Because a lot of my songs are Stupid <laughs> Now people are going to leave my show Thinking I I lack depth mm. you know, that, I'm, that I'm not a Like a tortured Brooding uh, you know, like, right. <laughs> I know. So exactly. to allay that fear, I always try to finish on this song, which I've written in the key of C sharp minor. It's a good key. That's a dark key right there. If you go to any like where you look up an orchestral style with like a backing beat or something with the key of C sharp minor it is very very dark it is very dark sounding so he picked a proper key for the song itself I love that he explains that that's funny but I like his little intro here and I do understand how people could get that vibe from Tim I totally understand why he would feel people might view him that way and a song like this from him is definitely warranted I'm very excited to see what he gives us inside of this. Seems to help. And uh, to add to the sense of profundity generated by this key center, I, I tend to change the lights a bit, just so that it's, uh, it's mostly um, <laughs> red. <laughs> red. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, think, I think it goes pretty well in, in general. I think people leave my show hopefully having had a good time and everything, but also saying things to one another like, um, yeah, that guy's really deep. 
he is though that's the thing like every song i've done by him we've had a really good conversation inside of like wonderful conversations all comedy aspects and funny tim moments aside he's a genuine artist and you can really really have some good conversation from his music i respect him man he's bold and he has some wild takes sometimes but i respect it yeah yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> it's really deep, eh? Shit, yeah. <laughs> it's deep as, bro. <laughs> I love him. I love him. His energy is everything. <clears throat> it's because he knows exactly what he's doing with his music and how deep it actually is when you look at it but like beyond surface level right and he understands that for the people that really love his music it's because they understand it so this is like his little shout out to everybody like i know you guys get me and i appreciate it right so yeah um this is a song called dark side It's a beautiful chord progression. <laughs> Let's get it. I can have a dark side if you want me to. carries his voice and arranges his cadences now that i've heard him tackle something that well white wine in the sun is a deep song right that's a deep emotional one but this is a whole different level well actually this was it actually says this was the predecessor of the uh white wine in the sun instead so this was his final song before white wine in the sun became that song instead okay so this was the predecessor for white wine in the sun as his final performance song and it makes total sense right wow the way it ties into the time span of everything in his career adds up too as well that's really cool that it adds up like that She said, that's exactly the point I just get so annoyed how you're so happy all the time I need somebody deeper than you Someone with a little third dimension I said <laughs> The way he words things is epic. He's so amazing. His storytelling is brilliant. See, he did a very Tim Mention thing. That's going to become a term on the channel from now on whenever he's doing his thing. It's just a Tim Mention thing, for real. He took the, the sad situation and the bad situation and played it in a really happy major key, which is fucking epic. The switch up in that is very... Like, to pull it off, you have to be very, very perfect about the approach and... He's very good at that. He can do. He can switch up in any direction at any point. He understands music very well. I like that. I really like it. He said I called my girlfriend up on the phone and said, Hey, girlfriend, what's going wrong? He just says, Hey, girlfriend. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my goodness. Hey, girlfriend, right? <laughs> she said, I'm breaking it off with you. I feel as if the mama magic is gone. I said, hey, baby, what are you talking about? Thought that everything was just fine. She said, that's exactly my point. I just get so annoyed how you're so happy all the time. I need somebody deeper than you, someone with a little third dimension. <laughs> So with a little third dimension, she said you're flat. <laughs> she said you're falling flat. <laughs> Second dimension stuck there, right? <laughs> no color, no color, no geometrics going on here. <laughs> like you're just falling flat, my friend. That's what he's saying. <laughs> the way he says things is hilarious. If you, right? Like, you gotta read about that shit and, like, st like pay attention to that kind of shit to catch bars like that. He's smart as fuck. The way he described that is hilarious. Like, just to say you're falling flat by describing it as someone with a little third dimension. Right? <laughs> I love him, man. Well, I can have a dark side if you want me to heal. I can have a dark side yeah. Is he singing like fucking Scott Stapp from Creed? Is is he imitating Creed right now? Like <laughs> I'm gonna fucking lose my shit with this guy. I swear. I'm glad that we're actually starting to cover more of his catalog now. You guys wanted me to do it for a long time. This guy is... <laughs> oh, what do you guys know about Creed? Huh? <laughs> My god, I can't with this guy, bro. I can have a dark side If you want me to heal I can have a dark side, yeah. Yes, sir. Uh-oh. He's a real performer, man. <laughs> I can develop my brooding potential It pains what you want in a man, yeah. I can take you I can have a dark side to you I can have a dark side I can have a dark side I can have a dark side Ooh, yeah <laughs> He's so perfect, though. That's really what I have to say about this. The imitation of that fucking style of singing is one of the most funny fucking things I've ever heard in a song before. I mean... <laughs> you guys all know. You guys all know. That's a running joke. That's still a running joke to this day. There are still fucking memes and shit being made about that specific thing right there and he just fucking executed it so hilariously i mean i don't know what to expect with him anymore he's brilliant man
Brandon going crazy on the floor. <laughs> I had to, I had to just show respect by not pausing that for a single moment. I had so much to say for so long. <laughs> that one section where he gets up to the highest section, right, of the keys, where you can really hear the hammers hitting the notes. Did y'all hear that speed? Did you hear that? It was like fucking rocks popping off in a dish. Like. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> He's so talented. I mean. Just running through. Right. Running up and down like that. It's beautiful. It's wonderful that he like extended that out the way that he did. It added a lot of comedic aspect and like tension relief. Not that this song needed that in the first place because this is hilarious and very well done from a Tim Minchin kind of perspective of like how he writes and everything. It's very well done. But like that extended section in there even makes it more comedic because he's being really sarcastic with his body language the whole way through it. Like, ha ha, I'm not done yet. Going in to for a lease, right? For like literally a half a measure. It was like half a measure. I don't even think he went into it for a full measure, right? And then just ramming it back in down to the very low end and ending on that ugly chord that's classic, right? That chord is, it's the ugly chord. That's what I call it. I love it. I love it. He's so fucking funny. Right back into the happy dancing in the backyard with a white picket fence vibe. <laughs> this guy is too much. He's out of control. I love you guys. Thank you for introducing me to him.
his voice is so good. He can sing really well. He's a very good vocalist. I love that high note he hit there. I love his approach to this. What he said here is really true of the music industry, though. He had a really, really good take on this verse right here. I wrote a letter to Mr. Sony. I said, hey, Sony, what's going down? We've talked about Sony on here before. We have definitely had that conversation on here before. He said, I've got a record, and I reckon it's wicked, and I think you should spread it around. I said, hey, Tim, I quite like your work. He says it's clever and quirky, but I promise you this. Listen to this. This is, this is him quoting what a, a label is executive would say to somebody like him, right? You could be clever as Voltaire, but it won't get you nowhere. If you want to sell discs, clever made no one rich. Never. Clever never made no one rich. It doesn't appeal to the teenage market. Boom. They like to take young, impressionable minds and mold the artist into something that they view as cool. And that bangs the record sales up, especially now that we have cell phones where anyone, any teenage market, can just have a job around, like, say, 15 to 17 years old, and they can go buy that on iTunes or one of the streaming platforms, and it puts money into the label's pocket, not necessarily the artist, because the artist runs on a contract that has a number attached to it, usually, and a lot of that comes as, like, fronts. Right? Or the label buys them things, buys them things that the label knows they would like and ship, but then they have to make sure that it gets paid back with the sales they're doing. And what they try to appeal to is the impressionable minds of the teenage market. And he just quoted the exact thing that a label executive would have to say to someone like him. And see, <clears throat> I have never personally been affiliated with discussing things with a label or anything like that so I don't know what conversations get had in that but from every independent perspective I've seen of one of them that has talked to a label they say basically the same exact thing that Tim just said right there it's just all about feeding it into minds that are impressionable because the adults can already see through the bullshit as we do on here with the music that we cover, right? We break down the barrier of the industry with the stuff that we cover on here because we really get into the deeper meanings of what music can have inside a life when it's not that force-fed garbage that labels make people grow up listening to and then in turn a lot of them might do something stupid become a criminal get their self arrested ruin their life over the impression that music had on their mind right music is very impressionable you have to be careful what you listen to constantly it's a very impressionable thing you have to like, even if you listen to that mainstream stuff from time to time when you're just having fun or background noise or whatever, you can't take that shit too much to heart because if you apply it to your life, you can get yourself in a lot of sticky situations. That's what he's talking about there. Tim is a very, very smart guy, the way that he says things. See that conversation we just had there off of one verse with... Not even that many words. He put it very bluntly and very straightforward. We get to have really important conversations like that. And I think it's important that we listen to as much music as possible that has these kind of messages in it. Because they keep it fucking real. And Tim, really, I mean, <laughs> Tim's good enough that he don't need anybody's help. This guy's one of the most talented artists that's ever been on the planet. Like, he's that level of talented in my opinion he's his own his own fucking thing uh there is not another artist that does it like tim does uh, that i've ever seen in my life he's one of a kind and that will make him successful forever right Oh, 
Dragons are our boys. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> oh my goodness, bro. Tim Mention is something else. His vocal control is incredible. He is very incredible with his vocal control. His breath control is next level. To like have the level of energy and stage performance that he has and to never miss a beat, to sound that good vocally, he practices a lot. He's very, very well done when it comes to his level of practice, right? I like that about him. You can tell that he just... He could do this in his sleep, really. He's just quirky like that. He's probably funny like that in person, too. I imagine if we watched one of his interviews, we would be laughing quite a bit. And I imagine he's probably pretty humble and serious at the same time in his interviews. I get that vibe from him. He said, I can have a dark side, too. I can reveal my tortured internals if paint's what you want and in an act. Pain I can do. I can have a dark side, too. No means of the generally spoken, though. <laughs> that right there. Nice run. Jeremy Spooky. Jeremy I love that he shows you what he's capable of, and he does it in oh, he does it in a way that makes you laugh and really appreciate how fun vocalization is, right? And how fun music actually is. He takes his talent and shows it to you and displays it to you in a way that's going to relieve stress because it's comedic. And he's also still getting to shine and connect with everybody on a deep level at the same time. He has perfect balance inside of this performance. He is throwing both sides of the scale for a loop with his approach to this. I mean... That whistle note that he just hit is insane. And the intentional vocal crack to make it sound like he messed up and wasn't going to be able to hit a higher note is... It's hard to do that on command the way that he just... Like, he had one chance that was literal milliseconds to nail that in the exact right spot. And he hit it perfectly. And then to hit it with that little vocal crack of I just lost my voice at the end. We got to take this whole sequence back right here because this is one of the best things I've ever seen Tim do. This is great right here. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. <laughs> the eye twitch. Brilliant.
that he never came to my ball games. <laughs> Where were you, Daddy? Daddy never came to my ball games. goodness this guy's too much I I can have a dark side if you want me to if you want me to fucking something else i'll tell you what i don't know what to do with him man i literally do not know what to do with this guy at this point he's fucking something else i'll tell you what i mean we got to have some fun conversation inside of this and i mean the the all over the place the theatrics him going wild at the end there <sighs> His theatrics are on point. I love that he throws that into this performance, especially since it's like the go big or go home ending song of the whole entire show. It's absolutely amazing the way that he has those theatrics thrown in there and he really gets you involved and throws that comedy inside of there to make you laugh. But he did say some serious stuff inside of this, I mean real life kind of stuff we had a dis we had a whole discussion about record labels inside of this i'm i wasn't expecting to have that conversation with this song from tim right that shows how unpredictable he is as an artist i'm really really glad that like i said we, we are starting to cover more of him on the channel i really enjoyed this a lot his piano playing is phenomenal the lighting was awesome the way it even went on to the stage at the floor area as well you could see the lighting playing around on the floor switching between a lot of shades that piano solo in the middle where you could hear all the clicks during the very high section was really awesome i like how raw that sounded the way that you could hear the clicks of the hammer so clearly the mics really picked that up very well this was recorded very well the whole performance the crowd laughing is such good vibes leave it to tim man i don't expect anything but this from him at this point tim is a legend for sure i can't wait to cover more of his stuff for you guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this i know i did the original video will be in the description as always subscribe to tim support the artists we have on the channel that's what we do this for get the music out into the world relate it to our own lives this was a really fun one to cover and i'm glad that 
that we did. Like I always say, if you guys are going through addiction or mental health struggles, please go get professional help. Take the steps to make yourself get better. Work on yourself every day. Improve on different things every day that you know you can improve on. Live your best life. Get out there and inspire other people to do the same thing once you've pulled yourself out. That's what it's all about. I love you guys so much. You can do anything. We're going to get out of here. I'm Vakasa Kavi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me. Comment those suggestions. Subscribe up this way. Bang the notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. So I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Have a blessed night. Peace.